In this video, I'm going to show you how to do some simple hand lettering in a shape. In this case, it's going to be in a heart for Valentine's Day, but you can use these techniques on any shape. It could be uh, a square, a clover, a state shape, anything. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it in Affinity Designer for iPad. So we're going to learn how to do some of those tools and it's going to turn out to look like this right here. So if that's something you want to learn how to do, make sure to watch this video. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juna with Detour Shirts. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do some hand lettering and you can use these for t-shirts or stickers or whatever you want to sell. You could even do these for family gifts and things like that. I'm going to show you how to do it in a shape in Affinity Designer for the iPad. I recently did a video um, for Affinity Designer for the iPad that this one right here, but you don't have to watch that video to learn this. I'm going to do some separate tips and tricks in this video that I didn't show in that video. That video is nice and helpful to, to know all the tools on the left hand sidebar, but we're not going to use all of them. We're going to use some of them and I'm going to do some other things in this video um, that you can learn about. So let's get into Affinity Designer on the iPad right now. So here we are on Affinity Designer. I have the video from up top here so you can see my pencil and where I'm clicking. Now uh, this is just a artboard 4500 by 5400 which I did last time the merch by Amazon size and we're just going to start with a shape the first thing you want to do is lay down the shape and use that as a guide so we're going to pick a shape from here make sure you're in vector and you can see the rectangle tool right here but we're going to pick another shape within the rectangle tool sometimes it's hard to click that just keep clicking that little triangle below the um, rectangle there and we're going to pick heart for this one so I'm going to draw a big heart like that uh, you can use any shape you want but in this example heart and we're going to take out the fill so you're going to click on here you can see this is the fill this is the stroke we're going to do no fill and stroke uh, at this color right here and really thin if your stroke is thicker than that you can go up here to stroke and you know make it thicker or thinner we want it really thin just as a guide so as thin as you can with seeing it you know something like that all right i'm going to turn that off the next thing we want to do is add a layer so this is your layers right here and you can see the heart is the first layer i'm going to add another layer it's going to be a pixel layer right there and the way we're going to do that is this pixel persona right here that's pixel and this will act more like procreate so you can draw and paint and things like that in fact we're going to use the paintbrush you can see this one right here is already selected paintbrush tool and what we're going to do is just kind of add some guide so um, first just draw a stroke over here you can see we're kind of dividing it in half if you don't like that you can use two fingers and hit delete and if your stroke is too big for a guide you can always change that here. So if 32 is too big, you can come down here and do, um, you know, 20. Let's see what that looks like. And then you can see that's a 20. So let's go back, use that 20. So we're gonna use three words. You can use however many words you want or just do one word. That's probably simple, uh, a lot simpler if you just do one word, but we're gonna do three words. I'm gonna do you are loved and we're going to just divide it in half so we're going to do the half of the heart like this this is our guide and divide this in half as well and so we just want some space between the top and the bottom so let's just do really rough right there that's our space so love is five letters so we're going to do this in five so the v will kind of be you know right here that area and then e and d right and then L O V E. So same thing here, divide this in three. It doesn't have to be perfect. So one, two, three, because A R E and one, two, three here for Y O U. Right? And then we're gonna just roughly um, put in the letters. So V will come down here like this and touch this. Right here, we want to make sure we touch the heart as much as possible so we can see that heart shape. So when E comes in here, it's going to come down and do this, right? 
and then here, and then like that. And then when D comes in here, it's going to come down here and up like this and around. See that? D. And then O will probably be something like this. And L, again, that line right there, we're going to use the L. Right, and A, you know, you want the top of the A to be there and then come down. And R, we're going to use that top right there and come down. E, again, use that top right there, come down. And the Y, touching there, O, touching that right there, and U. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is kind of thicken each letter. So I'm going to start with the middle here just to give me some kind of feeling of thickness. How thick do I want these letters? And once I get the thickness on one of them, I'm going to use it on all of them. So um, the V, let's start with that. Let's just go back and forth until we reach a thickness that we like. So I'm just going to roughly put this in. We're going to fix this later. And one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to use a slab serif. And what that means is I'm going to put serifs here. So you, you can see right here, it's going to be big and thick and slab. And the reason I want to do that for this one, now you don't have to do this, but the reason I want to do it is because I want to use the slabs to kind of extend these. So if I have that slab down here on the E, you know, it can come out. And same with the D, it can come out here and it kind of extend to touch it, right? So that's just a trick I'm going to do to, to make it connect a little better, that heart. So once I get this thickness of this V that I like, I'm going to use this thickness. I, I think that's the thickness I want to go for right there. So once I get that, I'm going to do it on all these letters. So um, I'm going to jump ahead, fast forward. So the next thing you're going to see is all of these a lot thicker. So now that I got it all thick here, you can see about the same size. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a lot of sketching. And I hope you like that. It's very therapeutic for me to just come in here and just kind of work on the thickness like that, right? Just come in here, put your pen down. It's really cool. It's almost like painting a letter. So the next thing I wanted to show you are a couple of things. First, uh, this erase tool right here. You may have known that, but if you want to erase some lines now, you can do that. Like we don't need these lines right here. And you can change the thickness of this too. So it's at 100 right now. If I click on this and you want it thinner, let's do 60. You can see now I can come in here and kind of erase those things, right? So I don't need these lines, these kind of guidelines. Just to keep it cleaner, I can, I can move that around. Or if you come in here and you think, well, there's a lot of space right here. Um, I kind of want the L to go all the way out here. You know what? Let's just erase this whole thing. I know, crazy, right? I, I did that, but that's how you know by looking at it. Um, maybe I want the L to go all the way down now. Let's just take this all the way down so that it has that edge for the heart, right? So I'm going to stop it right here instead by the V and, you know, just fill that space. Again, we can use the erase tool to make it a little better there. So we just want it that thick, right? And this one can be more thick, the, the serif that we're doing here. So you can see around that thickness. And then the O now will be like this. So things like that, you can, you can do that on your time and then you know fill it in so this is where you come in do you want it all straight or maybe do you want it now that you don't want it straight maybe you've seen it straight and you want this e to be more curved like the v maybe you take this out and make it not straight or whatever you do and, and you can do some round things here with the erase tool so you know maybe the d comes around like a rounded edge like that instead so have fun with that, that erase tool. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change this to be a vector now. So there's not a real easy way, at least I don't know an easy way to do it. Um, there may be one, but I like doing it this way. We're going to add another layer here, and this is going to be the vector layer. And now let's go to the vector uh, persona. I think that's what it's called, vector persona. 
Yeah. And then let's use the pen tool. This is going to be fun. So here's the pen tool. Let's zoom in. I'll show you how I do this V. So uh, one thing you can do is do guides. So let's do guides first so we can see where we're at. So here, guides, you can see down here it says show guides. There it is. And I can add a horizontal guide. So let's do that. There's that red line. Let's move it here. You can see that one. Let's do another one and move that down here, right there. So perfect. So now that I click on here, you can see the two blue guides. So we can make the opacity of this a lot less. And this is by layer option. So this is the pixel layer that we did. Let's go here and then move it down. You see that? Cool. So we don't have to be, it just has to be there for our guide. So let's go back up. We're on this layer now. We see our guides with the pen tool enabled, right? And then we'll just click. Click here and here and here, here. And then when we come down, you know, do this and there. There, it can be curved. Let's undo that. This one was curved, so I'll, I'll pull it up so it's kind of curved. And then there, we'll fix this later. And up. And in. Now I'm doing it really quickly. I'm going to move at two fingers, moves the edge so you can see where I'm going. Down here, right? Pull it. Click on the dot to get rid of that handle and then come back up here, pull it. And there and there and there. So we can come in now and get in closer. Use the node tool to move these right on there. Move that edge. You can see that straight now, straight on the with the node tool straight move that down right same thing with this let's move to the side here I kind of did it quickly but let's move here and it doesn't have to be perfect again this is just a guide we're moving these handles and there there that in right Is that cool and let's move it up. And we're going to do these for each of the letters. But I want to show you how to do one and then I'll show you what what it looks like after. So now we can fill it. Now that we got it right, if we want to move things around, you know, again, doesn't have to be super perfect, but we'll we'll see what it looks like once it's filled. So let's move this, get rid of this and then fill it with whatever color. And you can see like it's thinner here than thicker here. So we can move some of these points. Kind of just play with it until you get it to where you like it. Right? You can even move these dots. Again, the first, the background was just a guide. So if you want to move it in more, you can. And this is the center here. We got that with the heart. So we know this has got to be somewhere right there. So there's that. Um, let's deselect there. So that's the V. Another thing that I quickly want to show you is rounding the edges. So let's use another thing. Close this. Uh, let's go back to layers and kind of hide the heart and the pixel just for now. And we're going to hide the um, guides to, well, we don't have to, we can leave the guides on. So let's scroll in here. We're going to round these corners. That gives it just a little bit uh, a nicer feel, I think, a softer feel. So first we pick a corner right here, this one, and then we'll pick the corner tool. And now we're just going to pull in like that. See that? That rounded corner. We're going to do them on all of these. So we'll just pull there. Watch what happens when we put this on everything. You can do it on these corners too. And if your corner's not sharp, you can always go down here and click on this sharp like this. So you can see some of these weren't sharp. That one was, this one wasn't. When it has those handles on it, it's not sharp. 
So that's what you want. You want a sharp corner first here. And then once you get them, oops, oh. Let's do the corner tool again. Hold that in, come in here, pull it in. And I'm just eyeballing it. You can do whatever you want. So here's one right here. This one needs to be a corner, I'm guessing. No, it's probably, did it? Let's see if it is. Change it to the corner, there we go. Pull it in. So if yours, yours isn't doing that roundness, just make sure to go to the node tool, pick the corner and make sure that it's sharp. Let's see, I think we have this bottom one, we could do this too. Corner tool, bring it in, see that? And then lastly, this one right here, unless you want it sharp, um, but we're, we're gonna do all of them like that. Cool, now we can turn back the heart and the pixel and everything. Isn't that cool? So I'm gonna do this for all the letters and then we'll come back and show you how it looks like. All right, so now we're at a point where I vectorized all the letters here. You can see, really nice. One thing I forgot to tell you is there's horizontal lines to kind of get these straight, but you could have also put vertical lines. So let me show you guides and vertical lines. I could have, I could have added some vertical lines here. Make this straight easy right there. That would be cool and things, but I didn't. You can move these lines around and you can see, I kind of, I just eyeballed them, but some of them aren't exactly straight. One of the things I forgot to tell you were was how to knock out these things. So I did the V first, but there wasn't any knockout, but in the D and the R and the A, and especially the O's, there's a knockout that you have to do. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's zoom in here. I'm gonna open up layers. And you can see this circle right here. Let me just tap on it with the move tool. Whoops, moved it too much. That circle and this circle right here, you can see both of these are together. So we're gonna select both of them. And the way you do that is just select both of them. So if you don't want that one, you can select one and then the second one like that, just stroke over it. So now that I have both of them here, you see I colored them different colors so you can see them. And then I would go here, and here's the subtract right there. So just do that. You're gonna subtract the top from the bottom. So make sure that the one you want on the top is the one you wanna subtract. You wouldn't see it anyway, so it has to be on top, but just do both of those, go here and hit subtract. You can see how that does the O. Let's do this again here, here, and here, right? These two, if they're not on the top of each other, just move them down from the top. So if you had it up here instead, you can hold down this and move it down, but not, they're actually on top of each other, so this is fine. And then go here and subtract. There you go, so that is it. There's my text. I'm gonna remove the pixel, so you can see here. And then the heart is still there. If I remove the heart, and turn off those guides, it's a uh, guides, don't show guides. It looks like a heart still, right? And one cool thing you could do is put it in a heart. So let's do this and fill the heart, um, maybe like with a different color. Let's do red. Right. Oh, I got the O selected instead, whoops. Let's go back, I wasn't watching. So go and get the heart here and then fill it with red, isn't that cool? And then you could do this, which is the contour tool. And now you can see that works perfectly, right? And click like that. And maybe a different color here. So let's select all of those here. And I could have, I could do this, or I could have used the move and just selected all of them. But let's do all of those white. So I'll just turn all of that. Look at that, white on red. You are love. So that's it. That's how we did it. So that's one way to do it, but there's lots of different ways to do it. I just wanted to show you how you can 
go with the pixel and the vector and then use some of these tools, the contour tool, the rounded edge tool. We used a lot of tools here, the guides and knocking out. So, so I hope this tutorial was helpful for you so that you could learn some of the tricks in Affinity Designer and have something to show for it. So that is it for this video. Hopefully this video was really helpful for you and you learned a lot of different things in Affinity Designer for iPad. If this video was really helpful for you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps in the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. Before I end this video, I wanted to ask a question of the day. And the question of the day is this, what other shape would you use when putting letters into a shape? I think putting it in the shape of a state would be good or in the sun or something like that. Let me know what you would use. I'll leave those in the comments. Thanks again for watching. And if you wanna see more videos on how to design and sell t-shirts online, make sure to click on these videos right here. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.